Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is a um, little um, warning for those of you that uh, have activated your Windows 10 or 11 operating system with a Windows 7 or Windows 8 key. Um, it seems that there's some kind of problem with activation for some of you. Um, when you reinstall the operating system, um, basically you enter an old Windows 7, Windows 8 key. Now we had talked about how the fact that Microsoft had closed finally the loophole, you couldn't activate with a uh, Windows 7 key anymore. But the uh, exi existing keys, the ones that were used before the loophole was closed, was still working. Now uh, there's a certain number of people that uh, say that they reinstall Windows 11 and Windows 10 also. And when they use the key that they actually used before, they're using the same key they used to activate, it doesn't work. So Microsoft says that it's looking into the details. It's something that's happening with the activation. Uh, they are going to look into fixing the problem. So don't worry, that key still works. It's just that for some reason, maybe the way they closed the loophole, they closed for all of the keys, I don't know. But uh, Microsoft says it's working on the details and will try to uh, fix the problem. Uh, so hang in there. If you're trying to reinstall Windows 10 and you just can't use that Windows 7 key that you use in the past, um, it's uh, supposed to um, it's supposed to work. One thing that you need to remember uh, before activating, remember that most of the time when you activate it with a key, you don't even need to enter the key anymore. You can just skip that, um, you know, way that that place where they ask you to register with a, you know, enter your product key and just skip. And once the Windows operating system will be fully installed, it will recognize the machine. So um, I would recommend that you try that. Don't enter the key. Just go through the install and it should activate by itself because it should technically have created a... Um, a, a digital key, a digital activation. So um, that should work technically. If it still doesn't activate, then you can try your uh, your product key. But uh, Microsoft says that it's working on the details if uh, you are stuck in one of those problems with activating your operating system with an old key. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.